A submission on the project was given to Finchafin's Joint District Planning and Budget Priorities Committee, which was requested by the local MP and Parliament Speaker, Theo Zurino. The committee allocated 100,000 kina from their law and order justice sector account as seed capital. This project goes hand in hand with the recent 2 million kina allocation from RPNGC to build a new police station in Finchathen. This uh, understanding has been long time coming. We, in fact, uh, realized the need to have additional manpower on the ground. The man behind this initiative is senior constable and officer in charge of police prosecutions at Finchathen, Moisa Kueng. He saw the need for additional police personnel due to high crime rates in rape, murder and the abuse and sale of marijuana. Praying for our reserves down there on the ground so that we can have the reserves to boost our member of our six policemen on the ground right now. Police Commissioner Jeffrey Vaki explained the regression of the police reservist operations in PNG, but said the people of Finchafin can look forward to better police manpower under this program. It is set to commence in the middle of September. And the idea was to discharge them and uh, discharge them and then re-recruit them, but the recruitment be based on quality. We need more fit line, fit la man very unemployed and one price contribution where only no one walk. Only like you to look at a policeman. That's the kind of line. You need fit people to climb the mountains, to go into uh, areas for suspects. The current ratio of the country stands at one policeman to 1,250 people as per United Nations ratings. With PNG's growing population, the rise of criminal activities in urban and rural communities and criminal elements harboring their operations in rural isolated areas, the country needs a nationwide police improvement.